Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Divya Madan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about illusion of mastery. Uh, illusion of mastery is a cognitive bias that makes you believe that you have mastered that particular topic or subject, but in reality, you haven't. Uh, it happens because uh, you go through that topic, you read that subject, and you test yourself immediately after that, right? Uh, maybe say you are reading some topic like neurocutaneous syndromes, you learn about all the facts, the chromosomes, and everything, and you test yourself, you solve Q banks just after reading that, and you score 80 to 90 percent, you feel amazing about yourself, you feel like you have mastered that topic, and that in turn makes you lazy to go and revise that back again. That is the illusion of mastery and that is how it will backfire because you won't revise that subject because you're feeling the master, you're the master and you have aced that topic but in reality you haven't. So here are a few tips and reasons why uh, this is happening to you, why you are the victim to this illusion. So number one is rote learning. Uh, it is very sad that we see our medical education system as pure rote learning when it can be much more interesting. We can connect dots, make visual maps. So firstly, focus, focus on making connections. Make visual maps, connect dots, and also uh, focus more on the elaborative learning rather than load learning. We all know the top, some toppers of our batch may, batch that uh, secure really good marks when it comes to theory exams and uh, when it comes to uh, solving MCQs or uh, competitive exam, they don't perform that very well. Uh, that's because they are very good at splurging out information that they have read just one or two days before the exam, uh, but they are very bad at connecting dots. And these are the students uh, that won't make good clinicians as well because they are not able to connect dots, right? So firstly, to be this illusion of mastery, focus more on elaborative learning rather than road learning. The second, a very important point is your peers. Your peers hype you up, right? You uh, teach some of your friends or discuss something uh, with your co-PGs or your juniors and you just splurge out all the facts, all the fancy uh, names and syndromes that you have just read and uh, they'll hype you up that uh, you're so intelligent, you know everything here and there. But uh, that uh, type of feedback reinforces your illusion that you have mastered that subject. Uh, it's very important that you have a constructive criticism from your friends, your uh, colleagues, your study partners. Uh, what do I mean by a constructive feedback is uh, that they tell you to more focus on the concepts and exp explain the uh, facts rather than just uh, noting down or recalling all that information that makes the process a much more uh, elaborative, right? Uh, so having a good pair of friends who question your uh, skills of teaching is really important. So having peers that provide a constructive criticism rather than just hyping you up that you are the master are your go-to solution to crack your exams because these are the ones that help you succeed and further your life, right? So summarizing all what we have discussed uh, today is that uh, don't focus on rote learning, make visual maps, connect the dots, make elaborative learning. Don't immediately solve the cube bank uh, after reading that topic. Have some space in between so that you can recall all the things that you are forgetting and you make deeper connections and make an understanding of that subject. And secondly, have a group of constructive feedback providing friends or study partners that help you uh, learn the subject better. So that's it from my side. I hope you like this video. Bye-bye. Happy learning.